What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a game called Hack City. Hack City is a game that's kind of odd, like it's almost a card game but like not really. It's almost a game of like rock, paper, scissors, but with like cyberware and also you have the ability to like move your opponent's fingers around and stuff. I guess metaphorically. So anyways, let's dive on into the game. We'll check it on out. We're going to play the first 30 minutes here today and see if you guys really, really enjoyed it. Let's go. And if after this you check it out, you want to play it, I'll have a link for you down below. Hack City, a mega city steeped in corruption, greed, and apathy. An urban dystopia where the kind and caring are snuffed out in an instant by a soulless corporation. You have chosen to strike back. Fight your way through the impoverished streets of the sprawl to the decadent towers of High City to take down the bane of your existence, Megacorp. Okay, so we spend our credits to buy modifications and improvements for my run. We do changes to our cards during a fight, which will be reset once the fight is over. We also, once we die, second win protocol will revive us once per fight. Let's do a new run out here. Uh, we have three characters. We have Copperson. A rogue cop with nothing to lose. He dispenses vigilante justice with his AI-enhanced gun through the streets of Haxity. He is judge, jury, and executioner, so he is the law. Uh, we have Banshee, an ex-resident of High City turned vigilante. Banshee strikes quickly and decisively from the shadows. By the time you see her face, it will be too late. And then we have Dr. Rats. Half scientist, half rat, half mad. Dr. Rats plots and schemes down below in the sewers, conducting dangerous experiments upon himself and his enemies. He will make the world pay. Okay, so we use infectivity if we make the enemy sicker, and the sicker they are, the more damage we deal. Uh, she has bonus damage as long as she keeps hitting consecutive strikes, and then he has momentum where attacks permanently gain more damage each and every time that they hit. We'll start from the left and we'll go to the right, because I have my doubts that I'm going to survive a full run on my first attempt at playing the game. I seriously doubt it, but we'll give it a go and we'll see what our first impressions uncover. Alright, so as you enter the hack lab, you are hit by a pungent smell. It's as though the hacktivists have tried to mask their body odor with the synthetic smell of Anarchola. You hear a loud robotic utterance cutting through the white noise. Welcome to our little ad hocracy of sorts. To take on Megacorp, you're needed to break free from your shackles. Alright. So, we've got the Deadeye starter pack, which will increase our damage. We have the Red Pill starter pack, which allows us to stay healthy. And then we have the Reckless Strike starter pack, which allows us to go all in on damage. Uh, let's start right here. That sounds good to me. Can I swap any of this stuff out if I like click on it? It doesn't look like I do. So some of these are just going to be abilities and some of these are going to be hacks. We'll talk about what those do later. What does that do right there? Override fire. Actually, I think I'm going to play around with the red pill special after looking at all the cards. So I kind of manually went through stuff over here, and I was just kind of like taking a look at what each deck has. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. Like, this one seems to suffer a little bit from not having a whole lot of offense. Like, we may have some bad turns. But if you can heal through all the damage you're going to be taking anyways, who cares? It's strange to meet at Auspex in person, the leader of the most infamous hacker organization in all Haxity. He is nothing like you imagined. It feels like he's ignoring you and focusing on some invisible threat. Let's get rid of that Megacorp surveillance junk stuck to your gear. Get it jacked and ready for action. All right. So we can pick a card. Oh, we've got Rocket Science. Give the give the move in your next slot fast this turn. We've got Double Momentum on the attack in your next slot this turn. We've got Combat Shield. And then we have Sustained Fire. Okay. Sustained Fire goes along with our overall strategy because we're going to be healing a lot. It'd be nice to have an energy shield locked in as well, just to flat block damage. So I think I'm probably going to take one of these two. Since it doesn't really matter, I'll just kind of pick it random, and we'll take that one. Uh, we can also pick another card right here. We have a deep learning shot, which gives us plus one and plus two momentum for every card you've expended this turn. So momentum basically increases the damage of the card every single time that the card goes through. You might be saying to yourself, goes through, what does that wording mean? You'll see what I mean once we get into combat. This is very much a game of like rock, paper, scissors. Strategery and rock, paper, scissors. Uh, we've got regroup with the highest damage attack in your discard pile on top of your draw pile. We've got heavy blast, which is slow. Okay. And then we've got another red pill over here. Let's go with another red pill, I guess. And then we've also got blood rush. We've got rocket science. We've got dose up. We've got dead eye. What does accuracy do? Range damage and skill damage? Yeah, do that. That sounds good. 
Uh, Executioner overpowers your foes with momentum attacks, making them stronger every time they execute. He is a versatile opponent with deadly attacks and extra toughness. Make sure you counter key attacks and defeat him before his damage gets out of hand. Okay, so we're up against basically ourselves right now, and it looks like we've got some kind of plotted path down here, sort of FTL style, where each time we're going to have like a challenge that we go across, and then we're going to have battles and whatnot. Well, let's start out with our fight right here. Alright, so effectively, the way that this works is both players will put moves in these three slots. Then, we will reveal our slots to each other. Uh, ranged cancels melee, melee cancels skill, and skill cancels ranged. And so, those abilities will be cancelled out based on how, how they're matched. Then from there, both players will have an opportunity to use these hacks down here in order to change their cards around, move their cards around, undo ties, remove cancellation, stuff like that, and then the turn will go through. You'll get the general idea, trust me. So we'll go like skill right there, gunfire right there, and skill right there. So there you go. So we have two ties, and then we canceled out one of his attacks. Now we can use our energy to go through and actually cancel out some of this stuff if we really want to. Uh, let's see here. So we've got two range. I don't actually think there's a whole lot we can do. So, we've got Adjacent Swap, we've got Adjacent Swap, and we've got Slow. I don't have anything that's fast. Or no, Slow cards lose ties, right? Yeah, they do. So let's go ahead and slow his card real fast so he loses a tie. Uh, he's going to give that plus four momentum. That means when that attack goes through right there, it's going to deal more damage the next time he plays it. Not this time, but next time. When you're all done modifying how this all works, you click on the pass key right here, and the turn will go through. And actually, it's going to be really cool and really well animated. I actually really, really like the way that combat functions in this game. It looks super badass. They've got kind of like this weird mix of like a low frame capture. I don't even know what to call it. Like low capture, a low capture 3D model, low frame capture 3D model where like the frame rate is like somewhat disrupted on purpose, but like they've got all of the keyframes in place to really make it look good. I don't know. I like it. Oh, we've got sustained fire. I haven't really healed it all this time. So I'm going to go with a little bit of that. We'll go with a, let's go with a heavy melee turn and just kind of see how this, it kind of limits my options, but I'm interested to see how this plays. Anything to survive. Okay, so he's canceled out a couple of my abilities right there. Feels bad. Um, I could put in an override fire. So it's going to take three energy to do that. Bummerowski. Okay, I'm going to put in an override fire right there. I got to do what I got to do. I don't have any slows or anything that I can put in to cancel that on out. So I guess we'll just have to do with the healing. Uh, there's eight damage out right there. We're going to heal ourselves with a stim. He's going to shoot us in the face, and then we're both going to exchange fire briefly. Uh, we are still winning by an okay margin. We're not doing, like, incredibly well right now, but we're doing all right. Uh, we'll go with Sustained Blast right there because we've healed ourselves. We'll go with a little bit of gunfire. I'm prepared. Are you? Okay. It's unfortunate. But we can do this. There we go. Much better. Hopefully he doesn't do the same thing to me. We're going to go ahead and pass up right there. We've got a big attack going out for 10 damage. We're going to be able to soak that hit no problem and just heal it off. And then we're both going to exchange fire on this side. We're actually considerably well ahead right now. We only have 100 new yen at the moment. I'm calling it new yen because it's got the new yen symbol, okay? Uh, I'm going to try to go for... He seems to have a lot of counters for melee, which is the part that really worries me. I don't play by the rules anymore. We actually didn't have the worst turn right there. I'm going to go ahead and run a hack right there to swap those around so we cancel out his entire turn. And then I'm going to try and heal as much as we possibly can this turn because we've had a few rough turns where things didn't match up. So there you go. We're looking pretty good. We only got to deal two damage if we want to finish this thing off. We also have an absurd amount of energy. I'm going to throw that out for 22 damage on the last turn. I'm going to try to heal because I don't know if our health carries over in between fights. I suppose we'll find that out the hard way. Give me your worst. We both have no hacks remaining, which is a bummer. I do wish that we had hacks remaining. There we go. He's been knocked out. Victory. Stay down. He's got a little bit of cash right there, too. How much did it give us? 90 bucks? I'll take it. Oh, we've got a hidden stash right here. Draft a move. 
and hack pair. Okay. And so we can get deep learning and override fire, or we can get metal slugs and mass suppression. What does suppression do? Card text is disabled. New keywords can't be added to the card. Only damage will execute. Okay, we got rocket science. Give the next move in your next slot fast this turn. And then we've got nerf bat. Give an enemy attack minus five damage this turn. I'll probably go with that one right there. I like that override fire. It allows me to do like dirty things. Uh, we can also pick another set, I guess. So we've got reload. Draw two hacks and two moves next turn. We've also got edge lock. Give an opponent starter a finisher move lock this turn. We've got Brutality, which apparently is like two hits for four, I guess is what it looks like. Or maybe it's double damage, so it hits for eight, expend. It creates and puts an expendable hack on top of your hack pile. Okay. Eh, suppress swap, feel no pain. Heal three, gain three shield and one toughness for the fight. What does toughness do? Reduce all incoming damage. That kind of goes along with our best strategy here. Uh, we've got the hack lab, so cyber theft, we can draft a hack. We've got the club, which is a Dementia Daiquiri, which means that I can kill off a card. Let's kill off a card. I do think our deck is getting a little bit beefy right now. I'll probably get rid of one of the adjacent swaps, I guess. I, I'm not really super sure on the drafting strategy right now. Uh, noodle shakes. For a meal on the go, eat noodle shakes. Sure, why not? The stall is famous across town for its heavenly combination of noodles and milkshakes. There's only one stall, however, and it seems to appear randomly throughout town just when you need a fix. Old Bub has been running this worn down stall for as long as people can remember. Uh, so we can get 100 credits, that'll give us well fed, so we heal 20 at the end of turn one. We've got dumpster dive, and we might find something good. Let's go for it. You see the queue to get food, and it is way too long. You decide it's not worth waiting in line. There are leftovers in nearby trash cans. Even the leftovers are delicious. This one even has some noodles left in it. I don't know what malfunction does. What does malfunction do? Malfunction's probably bad, right? Uh, so we're going to have to remove that. So we draw minus one move each turn and it'll stack. Gross. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to need to get rid of that about as soon as possible. All right, well, we've got another executioner over here. So let's go ahead and fight him. All right, so with my big, giant, ridiculous AI gun, let's see if we can lay this guy out. Uh, I'm going to go there, there, and there. Hopefully we don't end up with, like, a ton of cancels. Uh, I could replace... I guess I could put an override fire in right there. He's... Oh, really? He passed. Okay, fair enough. I guess I'll just have a free turn where I do a bunch of damage and also buff myself to be stronger for the entire fight. That was a pretty good turn for us right there. I think some people might potentially be kind of turned down by the way that this game, you don't really like play cards against each other until the cards have already been played. Uh, there's a certain aspect of luck to the game that I think is going to turn some people off and maybe frustrate them a little bit. I kind of like how... You put it all out there on the table with this game, though. Oh, okay. All right, that's how we're going to do it, huh? That's how we're going to do it. Yeah, how you like them apples now? Ooh, he's going to play a momentum card right there. Fair enough. We're both letting our cards go off. We're both, like, playing the stuff that's available while we play it. Eight damage out right there. We're going to knock off ten damage, which is really nice. A little bit of eight right there. We canceled out one of his, so long term, we should be winning this fight right here. I think, yeah, 24 versus 74. We're doing pretty good. I'm going to throw that out right there. We'll play some stims, and then we'll play that. Although, he does seem to be kind of ranged heavy. Yikes. Sort of nasty, isn't it? That was sort of a mean way to play your boy. He's got no melees either, so I think we're just going to have to, like... Yeah, I think we're just going to get smoked that turn. There's not really much else I can do. Uh, there's not a whole lot of mods that I can play down there that's going to stop that from happening. Okay. All right. He's beginning to steamroll a little bit. We should probably, like, resolve this sooner rather than later. Uh, I'm going to play that. We'll play that over there, and we'll just kind of see how the whole thing goes. There we go. That's a better turn. Oh, he's going to cancel me out right there with a ranged. Okay. 
Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to cancel his attack right there just to be a jerk. I'm going to put an override fire in right there so that we have like a nice full turn. I just need to get some damage off. Actually, I think we've got him finished this turn, so I think we're going to make it. Like, it looks as though this big gun is going to get its work done out here in these streets. Perfect. I like how we have, like, a little, like, Colto tank or something on our belt right there. I don't know what that is, but it looks kind of cool. I assume that's the thing that I'm injecting stims into my neck with would be my would be my total guess. Uh, so we've got a new thing we can do. We can go to the fixer, which will allow us to remove a wound. Uh, we can gain 95 credits, but we'll lose our slow. Or we can go to the abattoir so we can get an upgrade and we'll gain tiger blood. Oof. I got to remove a wound out here. I got too many wounds. Like, that thing needs to go. Having one less draw per turn actually did matter on that last turn. It made it quite a bit more difficult. Uh, we've got the hack lab so we can craft a hack. We can patch moves. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll draft a hack, I guess. We've got momentum. What does lock do? It can't be swapped. Ooh, okay. Swap a ranged move with another move in play. That seems pretty nice. I'll go with that one right there. Uh, we can go to the abattoir again. We can get combat stims. We get accuracy and strength whenever we use a stim. That actually definitely plays into our deck's overall strategy. We do play a lot of heals and things. Uh, we can defeat a sewer beast and gain 180 credits. Uh, we can go to the streets and we can find a hidden stash. We can get a move and a hack pair. Um, give me the combat stims. And then let's see here. We've got a shop. So we can get combat enhancements if I hadn't just spent all of my money on, on buying a cyberware piece. Which you can find, I think, added in through here. So, yeah, we have mods. So, we've got combat stims and we've got gritty ramen. So, that's nice. That gave us extra health. And then combat stims are going to give us a little bit of accuracy and strength. So, we get range damage and we get melee damage every single time we play a heal. And we have a bunch of heals in our deck. So, that should long-term work out okay, I think. If we can actually get it snowballing, that's going to be the caveat there. All right. What's he got? He did something. Yeah, it looks like he did something to me. I'm dealing a lot less damage. This could be problematic. All right. Well, let's run some of that stuff right there, and we'll just see what he does. He's going to cancel my entire turn. Fair enough. Fair enough. He's using up a lot of his hacks, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, I'm going to swap in. I can swap in a ranged attack. Uh, I guess I can only hack. All right, we'll slow that so at least we win the tie right there. We'll just be a little bit more annoying. Uh, he's running pretty much all of his hacks on his first turn. So he shouldn't have a whole lot left to modify the combat with as we get further into this fight. Um, he's kind of played his entire hand early, and so it may work out for us. I'm going to put a Deadeye Stim right there. He doesn't seem to play a lot of anything other than ranged, I don't play by the rules and so I think I'm just going to kind of go along with that. Uh, I could swap some stuff around right here. Oh, but it kills off range, so that's not really going to help. Uh, we can go Override Fire right there. But that's not really going to do a whole lot for us. Yeah, there's not really much we can do here. we got to kind of like leave it where it is. Gross, dude. He's got so many hacks. I don't get how he's guessing how to cancel my entire turn every single turn. Like, I don't know if he's just getting ridiculously lucky. And that's what I meant when I mentioned it earlier, is that it's sort of skillless, just kind of putting your cards where they go and then just hoping they don't line up. Um, you do have like your your hacks down here that help out a little bit, but I mean oftentimes you just don't have anything to play with anyways uh, I'm gonna put that in Put that in We'll put that in right there and we'll just kind of see what he plays. Hey, we got lucky that time. Oh, he slowed me dude weak All right, well I can mess with him right there and I can make his turn a lot worse Momentum plus four, Jesus, dude. 
I got no energy left, I don't think. Yeah, I got no energy left to play around with. I don't play by the rules anymore. Yeah, he's outrunning us pretty good right now. Uh, hopefully we can get some heals in towards the end. Uh, we're saving our hacks, so we should be able to make some kind of recovery here. It's just he's got so many ranged attacks versus our melees, so he's canceling like a big grip of like all of our turns. Yeah, exactly like that right there. Uh, give me an adjacent swap right there. Perfect. Anything to survive. Okay. We should be getting a bunch more damage every single time we, we inject that thing right there. So we've already fixed his debuff. We don't have to worry about that. I'm going to put the red pill in right there. Uh, sustained fire for sure. And then we'll go with a gun blast right there. He's got to be getting close to out of hacks. Oh, really? He locked everything in so that we can't do anything, huh? That's unfortunate. That was his last hack, though, so from here we should be in bed, but he's about to hit me for 52. Wow, dude, he out-momentum just like really, really hard right there. I'm actually kind of surprised. Yup. Wow, dude. Those abilities snowball like really, really hard right there. Those momentum ones that every time he uses them, they get plus four damage. Like, if you don't, like, cancel those at all cost every time he plays them, you are in deep, deep trouble. Apparently, we get to run it again. So that's fine. I'm not super confident that it's going to go better this time versus how it went last time. Uh, I'm going to say play skills wherever you can. Oh, the dead eye skip stem over there. Uh, I've got a slow right there, so we can hack that. Oh, he's put momentum on stuff again, man. He's, like, getting me with these momentum drafts. He's just, like, stacking momentum on stuff, man. That's a rough one to deal with. Like, next time he uses it, yeah, it's going to have 14 damage on it. Dude, momentum seems a little overtuned. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, momentum seems a little bit difficult to deal with. Like, I guess you can cancel out that card, but, like, oof. Man, the AI just like prioritizes momentum like over and over and over again, and they just like stack momentum on one card nonstop. They basically turn themselves into like ridiculous glass cannons. Uh, we'll go over there and over there, I guess. Anything to survive. Okay. Okay. Somehow he canceled out my entire turn. Um. We can do that. That'll fix it a little bit. But he's just going to stack momentum on it again. Of course he is. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just stick with what I got for right now. Oof. Man, that's a nasty fight right there. This dude's being kind of a jerk. Anything Again, with the canceling my entire turn. It's just brutal, man. It's just brutal. All right, swap him. I don't know what suppress does. Card text disabled. New keywords can't be added to the card. Only damage will execute. Oh, dude, that card sucks, dude. I didn't know that's what suppress did. Suppressed blows. Never mind. I don't want suppressed anymore. I shouldn't have taken that. Gross, dude. That just messed with my whole strategy. Oh, we're going to lose again. I can smell it coming. He's already picked up momentum and not knowing what suppressed does because the pop-up text didn't have anything about what suppressed does really screwed me over right there. It's kind of a bummer. Um... Let's keep it diversified so that I can figure out what I can do here. Anything to survive. Okay. Um, I don't have my slow, so I can't cancel that out.
But I think if I swap those, I'll cancel like his entire turn. Ugh, he's just got so many hacks, dude. He's got like the solution to everything I try to pull. Yeah, I guess we'll just go override fire right there. That's all that I can do. Uh, we'll pass up on it. We should have some decent damage going out this turn. Uh, we finally got the better of the exchange right there for the first time like this entire fight. We finally seem to have made some kind of like inroad, which is really, really nice. We'll put that in right there, and then we'll put a slam in right there, and we'll put a heal in right in the middle. No, we'll run the heal right there so that, that benefits from the heal. All right, go for it. We don't have like any hacks left though, so you know. Just override fire right there. Dude, we won it. Oh my god, we, that was a hard fight, dude. That that strategy that he's got with momentum is really, really yeah. difficult to like get around. Like you've really got to kind of like know where to cancel things, and the cards got to come down like in the right order, and you got to have like the right hacks for the right moment to sort of like flip the script on him. Like that's a rough one. Uh, and they say chivalry is dead, the temple of love. Everybody knows about Lux and his fall from grace after Richard Bliss opened Bliss Land across the street with its high-end luxurious amenities. Lux has been hemorrhaging clients at an alarming rate. As you enter this establishment of ill repute, the man himself comes to greet you. Welcome, my most auspicious guest. An enemy of Richard Bliss is a friend of mine. Let's get you in shape, shall we? Um, we can get a rare mod or a rare move. I'm gonna go with a rare mod. Extra batteries. So we get extra energy every time we don't have turn initiative. We get momentum attacks that give us plus one shield per momentum they have. Or we can deal one damage for every wound that we have. None of these really play into our strategy incredibly well. I think I'll probably go with that one right there just to help out a little bit. Uh, we've got 145 bucks at the moment. Maybe we'll go, let's see here, cyber theft, draft a hack, okay. False memories. We can replace a move with another move. Yeah. I think we could prop. We're a little melee heavy right now. I'll get rid of punch. And then we'll replace it with gain 10 shield and additional 1 shield per 2 missing health. That's not too bad. Double momentum on the attack in your next slot this turn. It might be nice if we could get it at the right time. Give adjacent attacks 4 damage this fight. It's not bad. I like that shield ability. That Maybe I'm playing a little too defensive. Maybe I should err on the side of being a tad more aggressive. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. We've got Mind Wipe Mojito. Trash two cards. Defeat the Sewer Beast. Let's do it. Uh, we're about out of time for the day. So my name is Splattercat. This is called Haxity. It's in early access right now. So if what you saw seemed a little rough around the edges or like it seemed like the strategy wasn't fully developed yet, that's because the game is still being worked on. This is just the first iteration of it. Uh, you can get the game down below in the description. I really like the graphical stylings and I really like the UI and the way the game is arranged to the player. I think it looks really, really good and it comes across very stark and it comes across very riveting and it's eye-catching and I think that's a really, really good thing for the aesthetic. Uh, as far as the card matching goes and like trying to figure out how you can cancel the other guy's turn on out, I am interested in seeing how that mechanic develops as time goes along uh, because there is a certain feeling of helplessness uh, to the game, sort of just like throwing your cards out here. Really, I would argue that realistically you don't even really play these cards you play these cards you kind of just throw these in at random sort of like knowing what your opponent has been playing lately with regards to yellow blue or red cards but these are the cards that actually matter down here the hacks and so that's where I think the skill starts to come in oh my goodness gracious okay you gonna make me adjacent swap on the first turn huh let's do it let's do it He's just dead set on canceling. What is that right there? Replay one, a sewer trap? Huh. All right. Well, I am kind of curious about what's going to happen here. Oh, if I had energy, I could swap those two, and then I would cancel out like half of his turn, but I don't have any energy. Ah, well, this is Hack City. I'll see you all later. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle to look at another indie game. I hope you guys enjoyed your stay. I will see you all next time. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Uh, check out the Discord link down below. Check out the Twitch stream down below. And I will see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the Indie Skillet. Okay?